What's up everybody? Sony dropped an update for 1440p resolution and in turn this allowed for the optimization of 120 hertz gameplay regardless of resolution. In late April MLB The Show dropped a 120 hertz update for the game. The first day this update was released, the game felt super smooth during offline gameplay. Unfortunately, I wasn't around when that update happened, but the day after this update was released, everyone said it slightly got rolled back and nothing felt as smooth as before. This led to content creators like myself switching over to Xbox because the game felt smoother and 120 hertz ran better better on the Xbox Series S and Series X. But now, after this most recent update, the game supposedly plays the same between Xbox and PlayStation. So I'm gonna test it out for both consoles and we're gonna compare the two and who knows, maybe I'll switch back to PlayStation. With MLB The Show opened, you need to hold down the home button, go to settings, go to screen and video and go to video output information. In order for this to work, the resolution has to say 120 hertz over here on the right side above my camera. If it doesn't, then nothing is going to work properly. You're still gonna be playing on 60 hertz. Unfortunately, you do need a monitor that can process 120 hertz. And then you need to make sure that it says 120 hertz here in the resolution. And if it says that, you're good to go. Hop into MLB and uh, get rocking. Holy f edit out, get rocking. <laughs> Now I'm gonna hop over to Xbox, take some swings and custom practice, and then I'm gonna hop over to PlayStation just so I can compare the two after the PlayStation update. We're going to use Andrew McCutcheon. We're gonna face Randy Johnson with max velo sliders on Legend, and then we're gonna switch over to PlayStation 5, compare the two, see how things look. I mean, right out of the gate, we get a perfect, perfect on the Xbox. I've been playing on the Xbox for about a month, month and a half now. I specifically bought an Xbox for this game because I wanted the best experience. So Xbox is known to be easier to hit because you have the smooth 120 hertz gameplay and you just have a lot more time to react on pitches just as expected. I'm, uh, I'm pretty used to fastballs on this console, just early goods. I am pretty geared for the fastball on this console. Let's switch over to PlayStation 5 and let's see how things look. Okay, now we're on the PlayStation 5. We're gonna take some swings with the same exact scenario. Randy Johnson, Max Velo, four seamers against Andrew McCutcheon. We're gonna see how it feels compared to Xbox. So I'm early on the first fastball. And right out of the gate, we get a good timing home run. I mean, to be honest with you guys, I was always late on fastballs on PlayStation, even before using max velo sliders in practice mode. Okay, so that right there is already saying something. I am not an amazing hitter, I promise. That was fast. That was nasty. That splitter was disgusting. I hit like, 300 every season, but I'm like a career 290 hitter when all these top players are well above 500. So I have literally never been early in my entire life. I don't even know. I, I feel like I've already shown that things already feel smoother on the PlayStation, which gets me really excited to maybe give it a shot um, online. But I mean, these swings right here, I would never take these on PlayStation before this update. Uh, so this is really tempting me to try PlayStation out again. Okay guys, bit of a different video from me, a little bit less MLB gameplay, but I think this is something that is super important and applies to a lot of the player base. So even if you're on Xbox, PlayStation, you should be able to have a pretty smooth gaming experience if you can run 120 hertz. If you guys enjoyed this type of video, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment in the comment section, and please subscribe to the channel. Guys, we just hit 2,000 subscribers, so thank you so much. It means the world to me, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.